Hello, Bees Bladers! We have a fancy version of a knife to unbox that was sent to the channel for review. Thank you to Kaiser and to Kaiser Engineer and Designer, Yu Dong, also known as Dr. EDC Online, for sending this to the channel. Quick disclaimer, there are no agreements or expectations whatsoever for my review or opinions of this knife. But thank you guys and gals for watching and being a part of Bees Blades and the journey. And a special thank you to my subscribers and patrons because you guys make this happen. And my, what a what a colorful package we have here. It has been international. So without any further ado, let's get in here. Yeah, this package had so many stickers on it. It had Chinese writing. I don't know what the Chinese writing said, but whew, nothing like a sharp knife. Kaiser, Kaiser Horn, in case you were wondering. And let's see what we got here. Okay, got some numbers. Very nondescript box. Let's uh, very, very carefully get in here. Very, very carefully. This box looks like it has been through the ringer. It looks like it's been crushed and squished and hopefully they used some good packing in here. Yes, it looks like they did. And yes, wow, it is uh, it is taped up. So let's do a little bit of surgery. You ready? Very carefully, very, very carefully. And flame open the package, the pa package. All right, I'm being careful because I don't know what kind of box we have. And I don't want to kind of open it kind of like a filet of fish. Bring me that filet of fish. Wow. Well, I tell you what, the uh, package went went through some uh, rough times getting here, but it was protected, very protected. Well, if you guys came to watch an unboxing, you definitely get to see an unpacking. Ooh, I love seeing that. I love seeing that. Oh, all right. Yeah. Let's see what we've got. All right. So we have a Kaiser October size 2.9 inch. The designer is Doc, which is uh, Dmitry Osarenko, who's in St. Petersburg, Russia. And your model number is V3569A2. This is CPM 20CV blade stone wash with ooh -hoo -hoo, red micarta. Yes. And steel liner. Yes. I did not know this was going to be what showed up. All right. Let's get in here. I don't want to mess up the package. Can we do this without messing up the package? It's half of the fun of getting in the box, right? Is getting into it without messing it up. Are you ready? And yes. So we have, you guys, if you've uh, watched my videos, you've seen me open a Kaiser before. I'll show you what you get in here. Can I show what's, without ripping it? Okay, so you get a nice Kaiser cleaning cloth. There's that. And then there's an insert here with a little bit of care information. Um, I've, if you want to see that, go look at my last Kaiser video. You'll see what's in there. And oh, look at this. Yes. My favorite color. It is red. And 20 CV. Wow. As I get the tape on it. Check it out. And it gets a lot deeper if you, once it uh, gets patinaed. But let me give you a quick look here. Look at that. So there's this side. Look at that micarta. That micarta is freaking awesome. And here's this side. Wow. And this is a prototype. Whoa. Whoa. How about that? How about that? A prototype for Bees Blades channel. Let's get a quick screenshot. All right, there's our screenshot. So now I don't know yet. I will find out for sure. I don't know if this is the new version going to come out. And this is the prototype of the titanium version or the new version. So I will find that out. But here is the blade. Oh, check that out. Ooh, look at that. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Oh, what do we have up here? CPM 20 CV. 
Now that that's some good stuff right there. I'm going to zoom in so I can read what it says. V three five six nine A two. Man, look at that nice stone wash and that that's a cool looking fuller too. Oh man, oh man, I'm excited. Can you tell I'm excited? So there's that side. And here is this side, October D-O-C-K. Wow, that is cool. Freaking going crazy over here. And that is neat to have one that says prototype on it. So let's take another quick screenshot. So what I'll do is after this video, I'll take all the measurements for you. That way we have some accuracy and I will add that for you right about now. Okay, here are your specifications. Your total length is 7.19 inches from tip to tip. Your total blade length is 2.89 inches. Your sharpen length is 2.5 inches. Now your blade width is 1.28 at the base here, and then it comes down to 1.17 at this crown. So the widest spot's right here, 1.28. And your blade stock thickness is 0.118 inches. Your thickness behind the edge is 10 thousandths behind the edge right here, and then it kind of trails up to about 13 thousandths. Um, it's pretty steady. Um, your handle width is 1.15 inches, and the thickness of the handle is 0.42. It's not even a half an inch thick. Your closed length is 4.17 inches. So there are your specifications. And now back to your program. And welcome back. I'm still in the same spot, but you guys know more than I do now. So you guys probably have a good idea of uh, all the dimensions, but I, for myself, am going to weigh it real quick. Just so I know what we're working with. And we're zeroed out. And 3 3.7, 3.275. That's pretty good. Pretty good. And we already know that the blade is less than three inches. So that's pretty cool. So let's get in here and take a little quick dive for a first impression. I'm really liking the looks of this thing. All right. So looking up here, going from one end to the other. We've got a nice, nice heavy duty fuller in there. We've got some nice jimping up here. Ooh, that's pretty cool. The, the jimping gets a hold of gets a hold of your uh, fingers, but it's not aggressive. But somehow it gets a hold of your fingers. You look right here. This is all nice and clean, giving you a nice close up tour. And as you can see in there, it has full liners that are milled out really nicely. Very nice, very very nice. Here's your deep carry, mostly deep carry pocket clip. A tad bit looks like it'll be hanging out there. No uh, mushrooms. Underneath the shade there, got nice flat screws, and this is not reversible. It's not a reversible clip. So sorry about that, lefties. And we do not have a, let me back out just a tad. We do not have a uh, lanyard hole. So there's that. And this looks like a flipper. So let's check that out. Let's see what the deployment's going to look like here. Oh, a fail on the first attempt. It was locked in. There we go. There we go. Let's see what that feels like again. All right, man. The jimping on top of here really grabs your finger. It doesn't look like a lot. Can you see it? That little bit of jimping right there. I wouldn't call it aggressive. I would call it just right because it gets a hold of your finger. I don't like it when my finger slides off of a, a flipper and that flipper is hidden in there. There's no pocket pecker. It's just, damn, that's pretty cool. Pow. So it's a little stiff. Listen. So it sounds like it, you could, you, it could use a little bit of lube. But that's pretty cool. This is definitely a, a light switcher. There's not going to be any pushing or anything like that. I wonder if you can do the old flick my bick. Oh, yeah, I'll be doing that. I'll be doing that. Check that out. And no, this was not from flipping around. This was from not paying attention while I was trying out my new sharpener. Ooh, that is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Look at that. Pow. I really like that method of deployment. Can we? Can we flick it? Yes, we can. Of course we can. All right, starting to break in a little bit. That reverse flick is really nice. Can we pinch it open? Yes, we can. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. Nice pinch open. And did I just see a choil? 
I think I just saw, look at that. Look at that sharpening choil for days. Sharpening choil for days. Look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm going to do some quick size comparisons for you here. And I'm going to put up the regulars that you guys are used to. So here is the Spyderco Tenacious and the Spyderco Menix 2. So you can see it's a little bit shorter in the handle. We'll check out the ergos here in just a second. So there's those two. And here's a couple regulars. Try to go for ones that a lot of folks have that I have. So there's the pair of three. Now we're back. Now we're in the territory. Now here's the Pilar or Pilar 3 or Pilar 3, however you'd like to say it. So that one's a little closer as far as handle size and the blades. Um, you have a little more sharpened, just a little bit more cat hair. You guys have seen the cat all my lives. Just about the same, actually. And then sharpened length. You have more sharpened length with the Pilar. Pilar. And here's a couple more for you. Here is the full-size Sheepdog non-flipper. And one with stuff all over it, the Kaiser Horn for size reference. And let's see what it looks like width-wise. So if you have the Kaiser Horn width-wise, the horn is a little bit wider. And here's the pair of three. Let's see what the pair of three looks like. What does that look like? Pretty close, pretty close. And let's do the CRKT. That's pretty darn close too. So it, it doesn't have a wide profile, which is really nice. This pocket clip feels comfortable. I'm pretty confident that pocket clip's gonna be comfortable. Um, I'm not feeling any sharp edges around it. So that's really good, that's really good, really good. I'm liking all the different ways to deploy this thing. And a quick housekeeping announcement, my address, email address, Instagram, affiliate links, 10% off coupon codes at KPL Knife Pivot Lube, White Mountain Knives, Kaiser Knives at Mojave Outdoors, where you'll be able to get this. They're all in the description of this video, so go check them out at the very end of this video. So, um, overall, it feels good, okay, all right. My thumb, ooh, that is really, I'm liking that. It's kind of like made just for your thumb. It fits very well when you're choking up. And then pushing, this is gonna be comfortable too. It really grabs a hold of your finger. I like that jimping up there. And my hand, as you guys might know, four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here. From here to here is seven and a quarter. Now down here, my finger is, is landing right on this ramp here and it's locking in. Back out a little bit. It's locking my hand in if I wanna be back here farther. And then choking up, that's very comfortable too. This is gonna be really good for uh, doing utility cuts. That that fits your hand, my hand, very well for utility cuts. So I'm not feeling anything right off the bat. This is just quick first impressions. And I'll be back with, with uh, more on this knife. And it comes very sharp, a very, very sharp, very nice edge on there to begin with. I really like the looks of this. If you wanna take a screenshot, and here's this side, if you wanna take a screenshot of that side. There's that way, and here's this way. All right, so, hey, I, I appreciate you guys stopping by to check out this knife with me. Um, let me know what you think. You know, do you have the other one, the other version of this? Um, I'm not sure if this is really different or if this is a prototype of the original. I will find out and let you guys know very shortly. I'll very, very shortly, but you guys, you, you're always great. Remember to live life right here, right now, in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy and don't cut yourself.